hello guys now i will show you how you can compile sas using visual code studio by installing a new extension so i am i am creating a new folder about the sas directory suppose the folder name is sas practice Now create a new index file here. Index dot html and there we'll have a style file style dot sas. We will not create any style dot css file because we have to generate style dot css file depending on style dot sas file. So let's open this directory into the Visual Code Studio editor. SAS practice okay in the visual code studio you just have to click on extension here and type here live SAS compiler you can see that there has a extension about live SAS compiler just you have to install this by clicking and you can visit the full page and there has all of instruction to install this just you have to install this it's installing now this extension is successfully installed now we have to check if this sas is work fine you can see that there has a new extension new option here like watch us so let's create a, the html markup and try to write a new sas file Now you can view this index file. It's the simple uh, navbar. Now we will try to design this navbar using the sas file. This is class name menu item. Background suppose had ff. There will have border solid hatch cc now after write the sas you just have to click on this watch sas when you will click on watch sas in this directory this sas extension will generate a new file about style.css now i am clicking here and after clicking this uh, option you can see that there has some a uh, new file about uh, style.sas, style.map, and style.min.css. Now we have to connect the style.min.css into our in index.html file. Style.min.css. Now let's check if you can uh, compile our sas file into our CSS. Let's check the front end. You can see that our style is working fine. Let's try to uh, add a new attribute. Okay, so you can see that our SAS is working fine by the Visual Code Studio 